Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And, uh, wow, it's uh, a little after eight in the morning. The sun's up pretty good. It's been hard. It's hard for me to get up in the dark. And uh, then today, it was the coldest day so far. Uh, probably about 35, 36 degrees. And, uh, but it's sunny and it's not windy. It's really nice. And, uh, and trying to run with the, the cold air is kind of, kind of tough, but it's, it's okay. I can, I can deal with it. Just, uh, having to train, change my breathing. Uh, uh, but anyway, what I wanted to talk about is uh, we've got some people in our neighborhood that is really odd. And uh, the thing is, so far this year, this is, well, let's see, the... We're getting close to the first of November, but uh, this year so far, the police have been to their house maybe seven or eight times, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm having a hard time. I haven't said anything to them. Uh, and I really don't care. Under normal conditions, I wouldn't care at all. Uh, the thing that's getting to me is I don't understand if you know there's going to be a problem, why do you continually do something when you know there's going to be a problem? Now, I'll tell you, let me, I'll tell you something else. It's, it's, it's got a lot to do with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a black family. And uh, uh, for some reason, blacks say they're being uh, picked on. Okay. This particular household has had all kinds of bad things happen. Uh, they've even had a death. A uh, teenage son was, was killed. And it's, I can see, I don't even know these people, but I can see they've got uh, some kind of issues that they're not dealing with. Uh, because if they were dealing with it, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have all the police coming over all the time. They wouldn't have the problems that they have uh, all the time. It's just really, to me, it's really strange. Um, now, I'll tell you, I don't have... One thing I do know... Every race has got its own culture. This is why I, I made a video talking about I don't believe in uh, mixed marriages when they're going to have babies. As long as you don't have babies, I don't care what you're going to be doing. But when you're going to have start having babies, you're putting the baby in a situation where, well, what, what's going on with them? You know their culture they're gonna to have to learn their culture and stuff like that and uh, I don't know uh, the black culture I mentioned um, uh, I was going to Topeka here going to school and it was the last uh, segregated school system in the United States and so I was in the, the white uh, school system and so I had no idea about the 
uh, the black culture or any other culture besides Chinese and white. And white, I was on the outside. I'm, I'm Chinese. We're brought up in Chinese culture. And then so then my my dad was trying to teach me how to uh, get along and, and do things with the white folk. And uh, uh, when I went in the Marines, and the Marines was the last segregated, uh, uh, what do you call it, military in the United States. And uh, after boot camp, boot camp, they put everybody in the same boot camp. After boot camp, then they put me into uh, uh, infantry training, and uh, that was, then they didn't know what to do with me. I'm not white, I'm not black, so they, what, am I, what are they supposed to do with me? So they ended up putting me in the blacks. And that's when I realized, man, they got a really different culture. Because uh, I've never been around blacks. And it's nothing like the white culture. And uh, it was a lot of uh, uh, talking stuff, you know, they, they, they talk like they're badass and stuff like that. And uh, you can see it in sports, you know, when they do something good and they, they you know, they're, they, you know, I mean, so this is the way they are. And, you know, it's no big deal. And, uh, but like I say, uh, to me, they're more of a tribal uh, type culture. I mean, everything is done as a group. And the same thing, whenever all the police come, it's the same thing. There's always a big group of them over there. And it's not just all blacks that are there. I mean, there's all kinds of, uh, of cultures are there. So, but I don't know what it is that they're doing that that gets to the point where the cops, either they call them or somebody else calls them. And uh, I can see why there's a, what they call it, a, a more blacks in jail and having legal problems than other races. I can understand why. I don't understand why they say you're picking on us, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they are different. Don't they understand that? And there's nothing wrong with being different, but as a society, we're not a tribe, but as a society, there are certain ways we do things. And this is why they're having a problem with that. And uh, some of their, uh, their actions um, cause trouble. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't allow people to get in my face and do whatever it is they're going to do, you know, because I know where it's going to end up. So I don't like them getting in my face. And this is what they do in their culture. They get in each other's face. And then they try to do that into other cultures. And other cultures don't find that acceptable behavior. Uh, and I, and I say, I don't know uh, what they're doing and uh, if it's really that bad until it's happening to me. And then when they do that to me, and then I know, uh, and then I don't allow it to happen. Uh, most of the time, uh, they don't. I say, uh, when I'm in other countries, they got different cultures and uh, they got different things, but nobody does like getting in your face kind of stuff. And when that does happen uh, in any, any time, any culture, any, any country that I'm in, that's not a good sign. And uh, you know things are bad or getting ready to happen. So, uh, and uh, I do know it's, it's really weird because uh, they, they're more apt to fight. And I, I don't know, I probably need to do more research on, on uh, tribal type behavior uh, because maybe that's what 
they do. You know, I'm the toughest, so that means I'm the king, you know, or, you know, and you got to listen to me because I'm the toughest, you know, in which uh, a lot of other countries, uh, being the toughest doesn't mean you have to listen to the toughest. It's the smartest who's, who's thinking. And uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that I find I can follow the, the one that's thinking a whole lot better than the one that's uh, the toughest. But now, well, I will admit, when I was in the jungles of Vietnam, I was looking for the toughest. Uh, but like I say, at that particular time, that particular situation in uh, the society is staying alive. That's what our goal was. So you want to follow the person that's, that's the toughest and, and more knowledgeable and knows how to stay alive. That's the one you listen to. But, uh, but I say, so I don't know, uh, the answer to the, uh, the situation that the blacks are in, but like I say, uh, it's something that they're not, uh, doing actively breaking that myth. I mean, if they, and they say, well, you know, you just think we're, you know, I mean, they say you see a, a, a black guy running, well, then he must have done something wrong. You know, well, that's because I guess a lot of black guys do things wrong and then run away. So they need to change the way they're doing things so then that kind of stuff doesn't keep going. Um, and, uh, but, but anyway, this is just my thinking. Like I say, I, I got to figure out more about this tribal thing I'm I'm sure I'm right on the tribal behavior uh, I just don't understand tribal behavior because I don't do that I don't even stand in line if the li short line I'll do it if it's a believable long line I don't need whatever it is that they that they're offering but uh, but anyway it's just my thoughts this is Mike no stress Mike dot com